Hi, this is Nikki from Sullivan Miniature Studio. Today we're going to be looking at zenithal priming or pre-shading. With this technique, we are taking a white paint and applying it to a miniature that's already primed black uh, in order to pull out some of the details and give some preliminary highlights. When we do this, we're setting up the model for techniques like glazing or layering where we can use these highlights as a way to determine where our highlights and our shadows are going to be. So today we're going to be doing an airbrush method, so you will need a full airbrush setup to do this. It can be applied by hand or by rattle can, we just won't have that in the video today, but the process would be the same. So today I have my airbrush setup, I also have a Reaper miniature, this is an Ogre Chieftain that I will be using, already primed black. I also have a white paint that I like to use in the airbrush, this is pure white from Reaper. And we have our Vallejo airbrush and flow improver, so make sure that we have all of that ready to go, and let's get started. Alright, so here on the table we have our Ogre Chieftain, I have my white paint, and my flow improver. But before we load up the airbrush, let's take a look at the model and see what we'll actually be doing. With the zenithal highlighting, we are going to be simulating a light source on the miniature. So we're going to imagine it here, above the mini, and slightly in front. And the way that we're going to simulate that is we're going to do a couple different passes with our airbrush. The first one is going to be at a 45 degree angle. What that'll do is it'll pull out the details and show where the light would hit naturally. It'll also leave our black primer in the recesses and in the shadows, and by doing this we're starting to build the contrast and the volumes of the model. Our second pass is going to be where that light source was, so almost directly above the miniature, just a little bit in front, and it's going to be a heavier highlight, it's going to be a second coat, and what this will do is where most of the light is hitting, it gives us even more contrast and it builds a focal point. So if you have a miniature where you have a specific focal point in mind and you want to build some more contrast, that would be the time to do that too. But let's load up the airbrush and so you can see it in action. Alright, so we've loaded up the airbrush. I've got a few drops of our flow improver and a few drops of the white. And we are going to start off with that 45 degree angle that we were just talking about. So what we're going to do is a nice light highlight to bring out the details but still leave the black primer in all the recesses. So here we go. Do a little test spray off to the side. Make sure that we get the club, because it is kind of sticking out on its own over here. Just a nice, light highlight. Alright, so you can start to see it is building up here. We want to make sure we get the sides. So this one in particular. And then the back. As a note, I tend to do a bit more highlighting on the front, again because of the uh, the focal area, but I will do the top of his shoulders a little bit more. So I'm starting to see that built up. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit tiny more here in the front, but that is personal preference. And then we're going to do that highlight from the lighting source that we discussed. So almost on top of the miniature, but a little bit in front. And for this guy, it's going to be mostly his shoulders and his head are going to get it. I'll come down a little bit in the front, but that creates kind of a focus area for him. And there we go. There is your pre-shaded mini. You can see some of the shadows here. We've got a gradient here in the center, and then our brightest highlight at the top. And there it is. So this miniature will actually be going over to Patreon for our skin tone tutorial. If you guys would like to check out our Patreon, follow him over there for more tutorials. I'll put that link down in the description. I'll also put our Twitter page, or I'm sorry, our Twitch page there if you'd like to follow us and come hobby with us. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming to hobby with us today and to check this out. A huge thank you to our patrons and our subscribers for your support. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.